Hello! Uh, <laughs> I never say what's up in person, so I kind of thought it was silly that I do it in all the videos. So I'm going to start saying hello, or hello! Um, okay, so we're officially back into the bug. Like, 100% we're finishing it in like, or at least we're going to get it running, driving, and we are twin turboing it. Uh, um, so I have a lot of friends or I, I've got like three or four friends that own their own business. They do crazy, crazy, like top notch, high end, uh, performance builds, fabrication, like stuff that's way, way out of my league. And, um, they, okay. So their market, their business is they have to make power. They have to, their stuff has to be functional. It has to work efficiently. And, um, so to interpreting a four cylinder is not the most efficient setup. It's not even close to like the power that I'm shooting for could be easily done with one of the turbos that I have. Um, I'm just addressing this because I know there's probably going to be a handful of fabric, <laughs> a handful of fabricators and performance shop guys that are watching this that are going to think, you know, why are you doing that? That's stupid. You know, you're an idiot. Hence the name of our channel. We're not doing this for super efficient power. We're doing it for wow factor as another attention grabber. This whole bug is weird. So we thought it'd be another good, just like, whoa, look at that. Um, I just wanted to address that because there's going to be a lot of people that are going to critique that, but I want you to know I'm well aware it's kind of a, not stupid, but it's, it's not the best setup. Well aware of that we're going for wow factor. Um, we're super excited about that. It also just sounds like a lot more fun than doing a single turbo. And I think pretty dang sure it's going to be the world's only rear mount twin turbo GSR swap bug. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna have that title. So we got two uh, 16G Mitsubishi turbos from the junkyard off of uh, two different sobs. So they're just those little turbos. And we got two of them. Okay, so this is the jankiness we got going right here. I didn't have another flange, so I just, <laughs> I just welded that on. I think I can save the flange though if we need, but like I said, we need to do those two and those two, so I think I need to start from all the way back here. So again, ignore this. This is all just, let's throw it on the car and see if it'll run. Um, so I'm gonna take the heat wrap off, see what it looks like back here. I think they all, come together right here so we should be able to split them off of that but i'm not really sure yet so i'm gonna take this off cut here or there see what happens okay so i just called brent because they did a twin turbo setup on todd crx and he said it is best to run one and four and then two and three which sucks because it's going to be a lot easier to just split the collector. But that's the right way to do it. Even though twin turboing isn't the right way, we're going to twin turbo it the right way of doing it the wrong way. I think. So, that's not what I wanted to do. It's going to be a lot harder, but that's what Brent said, and Brent's the wizard. So, I'm going to start cutting and start looking at all that and see how we're gonna make it happen <laughs> okay so as if this wasn't already what i didn't want to do instead of like one and four conveniently being those and two and three uh it's one and then four is the opposite and then two and three or vice versa so it's the two diagonal so that's gonna be a pain in the butt um so i'm gonna cut that uh i can't remember if I showed you the junkyard metal or not. So we went to the junkyard and it's almost like somebody knew we were going because this bundle 
was tied together sitting in the engine bay of a truck and it has all these bends on it which is we're gonna need a lot of <coughs> and we got a couple of these flex little flex pipes we got this big diesel turbo for Mina's uh, V6 Civic that guy another random one so that's gonna be the piping we're gonna use for that and then we may or may not have to go get more to make Mina's V6 turbo setup um, so I'm gonna cut that lay all that out kind of see how it's actually gonna pan out um, this it's gonna be tough like I said I don't really know what I'm I know how to weld, I know how to cut, but this is going to be, uh, it's definitely going to take a minute. Step one, put fluid in this reservoir. <laughs> Before you bleed clutch. Before bleeding brakes. Yes. Be sure to add brakes. Yes. Step two, bleed brakes. You sure that's, that's brake fluid? Goose pacho? Uh, looks like water. It's water, what are you doing? I peed in there. <laughs> no, that's clear. Yeah, let me move, let me unplug the ECU, move this stuff because a lot of the unions are underneath this thing so that way we can see if they leak. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, so we start to do the brakes. But the, or show me that one. Here's that one. So this fitting that we originally had on is a bubble flare and it did not, why isn't it focusing? There you go. That flare did not work for what was behind. This adapter. So turn that sideways. So the threads in there did not work with that. So we got this adapter right there that goes in. And that also has Yeah, so that bubble. has, that has like a nipple that points up. And, and then, then that's the opposite, so that sits on that'll the That'll meet and seal yeah. the fluid. Because all, all three of these were just shooting brake fluid like crazy. Yeah. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to try and figure out the turbo setup with that. And, and hopefully it goes easy peasy. Cheers. It's starting to build pressure. Nice. Usually I do the farthest one just so all the fluids goes through all the other three calipers. I think, yeah, I think that's what you're supposed to do. Okay, it's getting stiff, try that. Okay, maybe this one, then I'll do the driver's side, which is the opposite of this one. Oh yeah, yeah. it dropped. Nice. Okay, I'll do this one for this side. Oh yeah. Oh, this is a long side. I'll have to bolt the seat down in a minute. <laughs> It's getting stiff. Okay. Oh yeah. There's the air coming out of that one. What? Okay. Oh yeah. Ooh. Bubbles. Oh, that was air. Nice. Okay, go again. I think that means the clutch is going to be super on and off. Well, that's crazy. Okay. Uh, no bubbles. That was all fluid. But go one more time, please. Yeah, the back of the fork is almost touching the trans. I mean, that's that's as good as gonna get. But we'll bleed it one more time right now. Holding. Yep. Oh, some pressure. Okay. Clutch and brakes and blood. Nice. Super. Oh. That feels really good. <laughs> it feels better than my car. And then the clutch. Oh, that's really nice. It doesn't have that kick like the other setup did. Yeah. Where it shoots your foot <laughs> yeah. back. And so then you gotta stop. That's why it felt like a felt like a racing clutch because yeah. that pedal box was so lame. Oh, even better in the left. Yeah. I mean, that's, that makes sense, but that's just like, feels like a normal clutch. Cool. 
Oh, that's awesome. Perfect. Okay, on to that. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I got under the car, I put these on, got under the car, measured from where I cut them to where these are going to curve up. Uh, then I kind of realized, like, how the heck am I going to combine these two? So it's, see, these two, so it's this one and this one go together, and that one and that one go together, which kind of makes this part a pain in the butt. Um, this is shoved in there just to give me space, which I don't know if I'm going to need now. No, I'm still going to need it. So what I'm thinking is, and this is where it's going to get even questionably janky for me, um, but I'm going to try it anyways. What I'm thinking is I'm going to cut this collector off, then I'm going to cut this in half, and then use those two to sit diagonal like that, and then this is going to have to come up and S off, and then I'll put this one to fit over the S. So I'm going to have to cut this one and this one down significantly, like probably, what is that, like six inches? So I'm going to cut these down six inches, which is going to be almost down there. And then put the collector on and then S it off before it gets to these two. And then put another one off that and that one can go straight. So I'm going to start by doing that and kind of looking at it. Um, I, I told you this was going to be weird. Like, I've never done... I mean, nobody would do this. This is, again, this is stupid, especially doing it off of eBay headers. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to do it. So I'm going to cut that, look at it, um, and then actually do some measuring, cut those down so that S will be able to be short enough to put the other collector on the other two and then split them turbo to turbo. So I'm going to try that. You're along for the ride for this one. I have no idea what's going to happen. But I'm going to make it work. So. This is ridiculous, but okay. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, the collector idea is not going to work. It's just going to run into each other. I would explain it to you, but it's, it's just not going to work. However, okay, so Brent said to... Um, combine the down pipes because the exiting exhaust from one turbo is going to create a vacuum from the other one and they're going to help each other pull and spool a little faster it'll be it'll be more efficient for the inefficiency that we are creating um, and I kind of like so this is going to be kind of hard for me to show you with me holding the camera in one hand but um, so basically Instead of coming up through there, which was going to be a giant pain in the butt, I'm going to bring it all the way to here. And if you look in here, there's actually a good amount of wiggle room. So I'm going to bring the exhaust up right here. Then these are going to sit um, something like that on each side. And then the down pipes will just come together and go whoop, straight down. So all I'm going to do now is just send the pipe straight back. That'll give me enough distance to slowly. Oh, that'll give me enough distance to slowly space the pipes out, so it's easier to put them into one instead of trying to jam them all into one on the headers. So it's going to work a lot better. It's going to be a little more laggy because we're going to add about another 12 inches of pipe. Maybe not because they're going to be. Let's see, it's going to go up, forward, and up. So maybe just a straight. It might be the same. Regardless, I like that better. It's going to be a lot easier, a little bit more efficient. Or it's going to be easier with the downpipes. I was going to do the downpipes anyways, but I don't know how I was going to do it the other way. So that's the plan. It's going to be a lot easier. So I'm going to do that now.
Okay, so I've made some progress. Um, my welder ran out of gas, so I'm still going to keep going. I'm just going to tack everything. So I'm going to try and build the rest of it, but then just have it all tacked. And then today's Saturday, so I have to wait till Monday to go get gas. But then once I get gas, weld the whole thing all together and then bolt it up and see what happens. Um, I was trying to make this look pretty and like look kind of decent, but uh, it, uh, I mean, no one's going to see it, but some of it is just really janky. It's all, it's all going to work but it just, it looks really ugly. Uh, <laughs> you wanna see it? So, yeah, it's pretty, uh, <laughs> it doesn't look pretty, but, uh, I don't know, we're gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna do it, <laughs> see what happens. Um, I got two T28 flanges, um, so I'm just gonna sneak it back and kind of position everything where I want it. I messed up uh, these two. They actually sit um, like three inches lower than they should. They're actually not parallel with the other one. They're lower, which sucks because I did not just tack those. I went to town. So I'm gonna finish the one side and then I'm gonna build the other side kind of based on where that sits and kind of work around it. So that's what I'm doing now. Uh, so I'm gonna keep doing that. Just want to give you a quick update. Okay, guys, uh, I am done for the night, and I think this is where I'm gonna call this video again, just so I can put something up. But I'm working on it tomorrow. Uh, we got oil lines uh, on the way. Uh, what else did I need? I think we just need oil lines and drain lines because we have flanges now, and I still need injectors and stuff like that. But as far as the actual setup. Um, so it is turning out, one sec here, it is turning out to be a little, I don't know if janky is the right word, like it, it's going to work as well as like, I don't know, it's just, it's ugly, it just looks really ugly, but I mean everything, in my opinion at least, everything is going to work, you know, everything's going to flow, nothing's restricted, everything's good, it's just really ugly. Um, but so what I have so far is, uh, so this pipe comes up and actually I need to, luckily all this is tacked, so I need to cut that and then I'm actually going to twist this this way. So this is going to sit a little closer to here. Um, hopefully it'll sit about here. And then the second collector is right there. So I need to cut some back there and then change the angle so that this is straight and then I'll send that pipe up like this the the tricky part is, is these have to be pretty dang close to symmetrical so this is going to take a little bit of time um but yeah and then the idea would be that the turbo is going to sit so assume it's about there turbo is going to sit about like that this one will sit like such and then both down pipes are going to go together into a v and then I'm going to try and make it to where it can work with the factory holes. But uh, I'm really, I'm exhausted. There's a, it, I've been sitting the whole time, but I've been grinding and cutting. I don't even know how, if my face is dirty or clean, but um, I feel like I should have, my arms are all itchy from all the metal and everything. So that's it for, for this video. Um, so tomorrow is Sunday. Um, so I'm going to finish tacking all of that Monday. I'm going to get new gas and then I'll weld all that and then, uh, weld the flanges on. We have to find down pipes. The, the cat at the, the cats on the sobs at the junkyard are on the down pipe. So, or at, they're a part of it. So the guys at the junkyard will just unbolt the down pipe and then cut it. So my buddy's trying to keep an eye out for the next couple that come in so we can grab those down pipes because that's going to be, I mean, worst case, we can just get the flanges, but it'd be nice to just bolt that on and then worry about combining them. I mean, the, the plus side is no one's going to see that, but I was really trying to make it look uh, look decent just with all the, the piping that we had. I was like, sweet, this will actually be an opportunity to kind of 
not do this right, but, you know, for me and getting junk care parts, I was like, oh, you know, maybe we can kind of swing this and kind of, it'd be almost like a step to seeing like, hey, maybe we can pull pull off some actual manifolds down the road and kind of just get a feel for it. And again, it's going to work, it's going to flow, but this will definitely be uh, something we'll switch out probably, I mean, I have no idea, maybe next year, maybe in a month, I have no idea. We'll throw it on, see if it works, and then uh, if the finances are good, maybe we'll just have uh, PFI make us one just once the ball gets rolling and we're driving it and there's actually some motivation. Um, okay, I think that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I want to thank you guys for getting us past 1,000 subscribers. I think we're close to 1,400 now. And it, I mean, we got five or 600 subscribers in the matter of a week, which for us is huge. It's still, it's still lame, I guess, in the in the hindsight of things, but we're, we're pumped about it. I, I can't believe it. We're really excited. So thank you for that. Um, next video I'm hoping is only going to be like, well, I'd like to show you guys this driving in the next video. So we'll probably wait till the oil lines get in. So those should be here Wednesday, Thursday ish. Um, I have a couple other videos I might put up in the meantime, but that should be the next bug video, but I'm going to be working on it from the minute you watch this till you see the next one like we're we're going we're getting it done this time so thanks for watching um subscribe share all that we really appreciate it uh we'll see you guys next time